In real life, Matt, what is a tesseract? Uh, it is a great word, and I wish mathematicians would always name things like this, but it, it's really a four-dimensional cube. Okay, so uh, <coughs> you, other words we use for it are four-cube or hypercube. So the idea is a cube is a three-dimensional thing. It has, you know, uh, it has sort of width and, and depth and height. Yes. Okay, so, you know, we all know what a cube is. But a cube is just a, a 3D extrapolation of a square. Yes. And a square is a 3D extrapolation of the line. So if you go back to the analogy with a, a city, so you start with a point, which, which is a single room. A street is a, a 1D sort of point uh, where the point is infinitely expanded. And then a square, if you take that line at a dimension, you make a square, so, so a, an infinite series of lines. Take that square and, and multiply it out, you have a cube. So how do you go one extra dimension? Well, you take every one of those squares that made up the cube, and you turn that square into a cube itself. But where does that cube exist? You're nodding. Do you, are you really with him so far? I'm really trying, I'm really trying to imagine this. Are you with him? Yeah, I think I'm really kind of understanding it for the first time. I'm the it's weak an link. infinite series of three-dimensional cubes. Yeah, it's an infinite series of, of three-dimensional cubes where, where each one of those... So if you imagine taking a cube and slicing it mm -hmm. infinite times, mm -hmm. And each of those, each, ah. each of those infinitesimal slices becomes, itself, itself becomes a is, cube? A, is an entire cube in some fourth dimension that's at right angles to the other three, which we can't imagine because we, we just don't have that circuitry. But uh, that, that's, that's... What you just said, <laughs> I like what you just said, because I've always wondered if, if the brains of certain scientists just imagine or work differently than mine. So even as you're describing it, you're saying that our, your brain and my brain can't imagine that definitely fourth dimension. I, I, you I can cannot. just describe it. I don't know if other scientists can. I definitely cannot. I'm so like relieved. <laughs> I'm serious. Do you think that there are scientists who somehow can I think when they're sober? No, I don't think. No, I, I don't think that any scientists can imagine in four dimensions, but there are definitely scientists who do much better at, at just passing the mathematics much more easily. Um, and I think it ultimately uh, mathematicians and scientists who think in these really abstract forms are, they're, just, they're really good at thinking in math as opposed to doing it all visually. And there are probably some real savants who can project a tesseract into three dimensions in their heads, but not actually think in four dimensions, I hope. <laughs> Do you know what I love about that word? Um, I don't speak Italian, but I know that um, tesserai are pieces of tile that make up a mosaic. Oh. So a, a tessera is the individual piece that makes up something bigger, that grows bigger, bigger, right. bigger, and tells a story and is a thing of beauty. I don't know, word, I kind of love that. The word that. tessellate also, I, I never connected that. Um, I don't know if it connects, but, I, but maybe it's, I mean, it's the idea of growing something, right? It's nice, I like it. <laughs>